a look at some of the new features in iOS 10 Beta 4. Upon invoking Control Center in iOS 10 Beta 4, you're going to stumble upon a new splash screen that introduces you to the new card system for Control Center in iOS 10. So you have the main card with your controls, the secondary card with your media controls, and the last card with your home controls. You'll also be happy to know that the date is now displayed inside of Notification Center in iOS 10 Beta 4. Another change that occurs is that the haptic feedback no longer happens when locking your device. Now, you still get the lock sound, but the haptic feedback is no longer there upon locking. Now, I've also noticed that star ratings for top songs have made their way back to the music app in iOS 10 Beta 4. And speaking of comebacks, the iOS 8 stock wallpaper, this one right here, the purple wallpaper, is now back as a selection in the latest iOS 10 Beta. Now, here's something that's gonna make a lot of you guys happy Animations seem to be much faster in iOS 10 Beta 4. You can quickly open and close folders, open and close apps. It's an overused word that a lot of people jokingly say nowadays, but it does feel a little snappier than in previous betas. And I've noticed an increase in speed for animations, not only on my iPad Pro, but also on my iPhone 6S. And a lot of other people have commented and agree that animations seem a lot faster on this latest beta. Now on previous betas in Safari, there was a bug that occurred whenever you press the delete key when editing something like a comment, for instance, that no longer occurs in this latest beta and thank goodness because that used to drive me absolutely insane. Now here's something really cool, new keyboard sounds when pressing certain keys. Now listen in. So these are the normal letter keys, but listen what happens when I press the delete key or the space key or the return key. See the difference or hear the difference rather. I love it, sounds great. Now in beta four, you can actually view an interactive notification in almost full screen, just like that. Now to round it all up, there are tons of new emoji characters and a lot of updated characters as well. You're gonna notice some subtle changes uh, between the old style emojis, especially when it comes to like faces and things of that nature in the new emojis. So it's subtle, you have to really pay attention on some of these, but there are some obvious changes in there as well and some brand new emojis. Be sure to check out the full post on 9to5Mac as we step through a lot of these new emoji characters. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at some of the new changes in iOS 10 Beta 4. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.